Okay, good day everyone. Uh, this is the last part of the lecture on mathematics as a language. And in this part, okay, we will discuss how to write uh, proofs of validity using the rules of inference. So in this portion, we are given a task of proving uh, the conclusion Q out of the assumptions or the given P1 up to Pn. So this is the list of uh, propositions or premises that are given to be true and we are asked to conclude Q. Okay, to do this or in order to do this, we use a series of rules of inference. And this is called the proof of validity. Okay, let's demonstrate writing proof of validity on our first example. So, suppose we are writing the proof of validity for the following argument. John is patient and John is quiet. If John is patient or John is timid, then John is resolute. Therefore, John is resolute. Now, for this argument, the statements are quite long, so we will use symbols. We will use the proposition P for the statement John is patient, the proposition Q for the statement John is quiet, T for John is timid, and finally R is for John is resolute. So in this argument, our premises are John is patient and John is quiet. And if John is patient or John is timid, then John is resolute. On the other hand, our conclusion is therefore John is resolute. Now we can express this in terms of symbols. The first one can be expressed as P and Q. The second one can be expressed as P or T implies R. You may also put parentheses if you want. And then finally, we can express the conclusion as therefore R. Now let's begin writing the proof of validity for this argument. So this is our argument. The first line is for the statement number. The second column is for our conclusions. And then the third one is for the reason. So our goal is we will assume that these two are true and we will conclude the proposition R. So to do this, we will use a series of rules of inference. So to demonstrate, okay, I have this video that demonstrates uh, the proof of validity for our first example. So the given and the given and the conclusion are are already written on the pad. So for the first statement, we can use simplification. We can conclude P from statement 1 and we write the reason. So simplification and this simplification is applied on statement 1. Okay. Now let's take a look at um, statement 2. Notice that in statement 2, you need P or T. So you can conclude P or T using addition. And in this case, addition is applied on statement 3. Okay, next. For number 5, we can use statement 2 and statement 4 and we can conclude R. The reason is modus ponens
and modus ponens is applied on statements 2 and 4. Okay, notice that in this case, we have reached our destination. We have proved R, which is what is required. So in order to say that our proof is done, we draw a small circle, uh, sorry, small square after the last statement of our proof. So this is how you make proof of validity for example 1. Let's try on our second example. Let's write a proof of validity for this argument. We are given the, the premises E implies F, not G implies not F, and so on. And we are asked to prove I. So to do this, we will use a series of rules of inference and we should end up with the proposition I. So let's take a look at the video demonstrating the, the proof of validity for this example. So for this example, we can use statement 5 and statement 2. And we can conclude not F. The reason is modus ponens. And modus ponens is applied on statement number 2 and statement number 5. Next, we can use statement 1 and statement 6 and conclude not E. The reason is modus tollens and modus tollens is applied on statements 1 and 6. Okay, next we can use statement 4 and statement 7 and we can conclude H. The reason is disjunctive syllogism and disjunctive syllogism is applied on statements 4 and 7. Okay, next, we can use statement 3 and statement 8 and we can conclude I. The reason is modus ponens and modus ponens is applied on statements 3 and 8. Now we see that we have arrived at the destination and therefore the proof is done. So this ends the proof Proof of validity for example 2. Okay, let's try on example 3. So let's try a proof of validity for this argument. We have uh, 4 given and we, we are asked to conclude B implies E. Now let's take let's take a look at the video demonstrating the proof uh, for this argument. Now looking at statement four and statement two, we can use modus ponens. So we can conclude D implies E, and the reason is modus ponens. Modus ponens is applied on statements 2 and 4. Next, we can use statement 4 and statement 3. And we can conclude 
not A. The reason is modus tollens. And modus tollens is applied on statements 3 and 4. Okay, next we can use statement 6 and statement 1. And we can conclude B implies D. Okay, the reason is disjunctive syllogism. And disjunctive syllogism is applied on statements 1 and 6. Now, looking at statement 7 and statement 5, we can now conclude B implies E. Okay, the reason is hypothetical syllogism. And hypothetical syllogism is applied on statements 5 and 7. So as you notice, we have arrived at our destination. So therefore, this ends the proof of validity for example 3. So this ends the lecture for mathematics as a language. If you want to know or uh, see more examples of proof, proof of validities, uh, you can check out the lecture or the PDF for more examples. If you have questions, please comment below and I will attend to your questions.